Hey guys, Seth Finley here again. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a web page in HubSpot. Now, this is assuming that you have already created your web page template and all you're ready to and you're ready to just go in and put some content in. So, um, what you want to do is get logged in. When you log in, traditionally you're going to see the marketing dashboard here. You want to navigate up to the left side of the screen to the content uh, drop down. Select the content drop down and then select website pages. Website pages are um, this is the back end of where you're going to put your new web page at. You can see here we've got all of the currently live web pages. We've got a little uh, rubric here that shows us uh, the status of different web pages. So if they're in a draft, if they're scheduled, if they're published, or if they're archived. And we have a blue button over here that tells us. Uh, where to click to create a new web page. So we're going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to open up all of the templates that we have built in HubSpot. Now here at ClearPivot we have quite a few uh, different uh, web page templates but uh, for this um, for this specific uh, tutorial we're just going to use our standard page. So the first thing that it uh, prompts you to do is um, is put in a page title. Today we're going to be talking about PPC, so uh, we're just going to put in uh, the P PPC web page just to keep it simple and keep us moving. So you hit enter or click the green button that says create, and now you have a web page. So you've got your web page as it is laid out here in our standard web page. We have a header and then a content section. And so um, for the header, we're going to go ahead and click on it. When you click on it, it allows you to edit it. This is what HubSpot refers to as their visual editor. And the reason why they call it their visual editor is because it shows you uh, right here in the, um, in, the, in the screen how it's going to look on your web page. And so what we want to do here is put in a PPC web page and that's how it's going to look, right? There's our header. So now we want to put some content in. And in order to keep things moving, we're not going to write out any content. We've already got the content selected. And so we're going to navigate over here and just copy and paste in some content. So this is a, a web page that we have on our site about PPC management. And we're just going to copy and paste that information right in here. Now you can see that uh, some of this information did not paste correctly. We have some, some really crazy code here at the bottom. And it's really easy to just go ahead and highlight that. Uh, click Style, uh, Formats, and um, this is in a Heading uh, 2 format. Just click on that Heading 2 and it'll remove it. And so uh, now we can see that the, um, the font is actually different. And so what we want to do here is go into the source code, remove that, uh, remove that from the, um, from the font and keep moving. So we're going to pull this span tag out and that will uh, be able to keep us moving to where everything looks the same. Um, or maybe we need to go ahead and just pull all of the, um, all the, all the text out here. Uh, so we need to first off put in some paragraph tags and then we should be good to go. So let's pull that out. Put in some paragraph tags and now everything looks the same. So we've got the content in. Um, you may want to add in some links. So um, we've got this page here. We've already got a landing page set up for it. So let's uh, go ahead and add that uh, page in. So uh, we're going to add that in as a relative link. And so it's going to take people directly to that page. We may want to also spruce it up with, a, um, with an image. So uh, we can go into our file manager and select an image. I think I've got something labeled PPC, I sure do. So here's a little image. That way whenever someone searches for uh, this page or comes to this page on social media, they can, um, they can see and have a reason to click. 
Uh, this actually is enticing them to click. So we've got an image added in, we've got a link added in. You see that the image is a little close, so we want to click on the image again and update the spacing. We want to put a little bit of spacing at the top, a little bit of spacing at the bottom, and we can hit enter or click off of it, and we see that this is looking a little bit better. So now that we have kind of the content of the page here, we're going to move over to the settings section, and this is where we're going to build out uh, the back end of the page. So we have a page title, we want, or we have a page name. This is how you navigate in the HubSpot interface to find the page. Now we need to give it a title. The title is what people see whenever they search for the page on the web or whenever they are looking at the top of their browser if their browser has like a page title section. Additionally, uh, whenever you type in the page title, uh, HubSpot propagates the URL, uh, but sometimes that doesn't always propagate uh, completely, so you want to make sure that your URL matches your page title or is something else that you want it to be. And um, next is the meta description. Like I said, we already have this page written, so we're just going to go back and actually pull the meta description that we have. So uh, we're going to copy over this meta description, and the meta description is what shows up in your search results uh, so that, that kind of entices people to bring you to the page. And so now we have our content in, we have everything with our settings filled out, and we're ready to publish or schedule uh, the, the page. So if you hit publish now, the page is going to go live immediately. If you hit schedule for later, you can pick a later date for this page to go live. This would be specifically if you have like a time sensitive deal or something, or you want to um, only publish new web pages on a certain day of the week, um, you can do it this way. Uh, but for now, we're just going to publish now. Go ahead and get this out of the way. It's going to uh, give us a kind of secondary check back. Are we really ready to publish it? And yes, we are. So we're going to publish this page now. And now this page is live on the web. And um, HubSpot takes you to this review screen to show you kind of where you're at, uh, show you what is what has been done. Um, so all of the details, this is a standard page template. Uh, here's the URL, here's the page title. We didn't give it a campaign. Um, it's ready to go and live. And so we're going to um, just go back here now to the web pages section, go over to the management side. And we're going to also go ahead and just delete this page because we don't really need it anymore, right? This was just to show you guys how to create a page. And so um, in the span of six minutes with the content already written, we were able to go from conceptualiz conceptualization into creating a page. So um, that right there is how you, um, how you create a web page in HubSpot. Thank you for watching.